Good morning. Just try and get you up on my um, laptop. Get you up on my. I've got you there. <laughs> <laughs> it's always a delay <laughs> so I can see the sun is changing directions in my craft room because I'm starting to get sun onto my desk and it's a bit glary hi Lynn how are you um, I want to see comments so I don't quite know how to do that properly yet <laughs> I'll learn it one day so maybe, now what did I do? I've lost myself completely. Let me just refresh. Sorry about this, ladies. <laughs> oh, there we go. Now if I keep myself that size, maybe that might be better. I'm just trying to work it out so I can see comments. I'll just do that. That works. <laughs> Sorry about that, girls. Good morning. How are you? I've got my cup of coffee and enjoying it very much. <laughs> Always like my first coffee of the day. It's just, it's like a reboot to a computer. <laughs> I hope everyone's keeping well. It looks like it's going to be a nice day outside. A few clouds around. Weather's been a bit strange, but it hasn't been too hot this summer, which has been lovely. So, I shall. I um, got a delivery yesterday from Stamping Up and I got my driving by. I'm so excited about this. I'll tell you why I'm excited about this stamp set. I used to own a VW Beetle when my kids were little. It was a 2000 model, so it was the new shape. And I sold it so I could take my elderly dad and mum around to medical appointments because they couldn't get in and out of the back. And I was so sad when I sold my beautiful blue beetle. But anyway, <laughs> I'll get over it one day. <laughs> um, and my kids, so we're quite a VW family. My kids both have a VW transporter van that they've decked out the back of with, um, so they can go away camping. You know, I've got their little burner, stove burner thing and a fr little fridge and bed and drawers that slide in and out. So that's why I was so excited about this stamp set. So this stamp set, never going. <laughs> and I also got the Hello Beautiful one in the mini in the mini catalog, which it doesn't look much, but people are doing really interesting things with it. And the shapes in it are really cool. So I'll open them up. And I've got another delivery coming today. And that's going to have the daffodil paper in it and the new Horizons bundle. So that's going to be so good. I'll be playing frantically with things in the next week or so. So these are all the shapes in this um, Hello Beautiful bundle. So I quite like the hexagon shapes. The circles never go astray. And yeah, I just thought they would be interesting shapes to have in my stash. So I've got a few things to play with and a few more things coming, which is really exciting. I'll just see if there's any comments. Comments. No comments yet. I wish I could see them all in one screenshot, but anyway, I'll have to find out how I do that. So that's my new stuff that I'm going to play with. But today we're going to play with one from the mini catalog called In The Moment. So that's what we're going to play with today. And also the celebration simply marvelous paper. So I shall put my phone up into the holder and we'll get started. I'll just get these cards out of the plastic sleeves because that doesn't help with glare and stuff. So okay, I shall put my phone into the holder and we'll get started. I won't drop you, I promise. <laughs> There we go. <clears throat> I'll just move this forward a little bit. I 
think it's my phone that's crooked. Okay. That looks pretty good. Do I need to zoom in? Let me just... Just a little bit. Okay. <coughs> Have a sip of coffee. It is my phone that's crooked. So this is the where's my catalog? This is the in the moment stamp set, so we'll just find it so we can look at it better in the um catalogue. In the moment, page fifty seven. Okay, so <clears throat> this is the stamp set. It doesn't have dies or anything. It's just, um, just the, the cling rubber stamp set. And the images are good for colouring. You can see some samples up here. And these are the samples. I think I've put them on top of the cards I have. <laughs> these are the samples I've done. I haven't really had a really decent play with this set yet. <clears throat> so these are the samples I've made. And I just thought I'd have another play with it. I thought I might do this one again. Depends on what's going to fix on, fit onto my little... Oh, you know, the one with the doggy might fit. Might do the doggy. <laughs> wonder why. So these are the ones I've, I've done. And I'm going to <coughs> combine... Um, <coughs> these two layouts sort of together. So I'll show you what I mean as we go through that. But that's using um, Count On Me stamp set. But the marvellous paper and the hive embossing folder. So I so thought I might just sort of combine the two layouts together. So I shall put my catalogues away. And I'm going to have to use my big embossing machine because um, of the embossing folder it won't fit through the mini machine everything else I'm using today would fit through the mini machine so it's just the larger embossing folders that have a bit of a problem so I shall bring that in and I'm embossing it on white cardstock let's see how many can <coughs> So we need plate number one and the embossing plate number four. So we'll get the hive embossing folder out. And pop a piece of cardstock in, spine first number four plate on top and just wind that through and there you have a piece of white card stock embossed so the hive embossing folder is in the mini catalog now the other thing i'm going to do before i put my embossing machine away Let's get my cutting plates out. My very hacked cutting plates. Oops, I also need. Um, where is it? I need the white one. Hang on, a tick girls. Oh, there it is. <laughs> so when you're doing die cutting, you need plate one, plate two, a plate three, and a second plate three. So I am going to use these basic border edges um, like I used on this card. Just gives a nice decorative edge. But I'm going to do it on the embossing piece. This piece I just tore. I'm going to do it on the embossing piece and I'm also going to do it on the piece of um, designer series paper. So just to make both the edges a little bit interesting. And I'm just trying to decide. I used this one on this card. 
Mm, it's a bit sort of a... Mm. <laughs> Maybe I'll use this one again. No. Yes. <laughs> decisions, decisions. So all I'm going to do, this will go through the mini embossing machine, but just because I've got the big one out, I'm just using the big one. And I'm just going to use some of my tape just to tape that down. So basically I'm just cutting an edge off. I'll just take my tape off. Oh. There we go. So I could use that on something else, which I probably will. That cut off edge. <clears throat> and you just get that edge like that. So what I'm also going to do is do the same on my piece of um, paper. I just want to make sure I can sort of line it. Well, it doesn't have to be exactly the same, but I just want to sort of line it up a little bit. My piece of paper is a little bit wider. Um, longer, sorry. Yep. So I'll just cut that down in a minute. So I'm just going to tape that down so it doesn't move and run that through. So I hope everyone's keeping well. <clears throat> So once again, I've got that piece I can use on something else, which I will. So that's going to go there and I'll just chop it off. So I haven't really lined up my points very well. If I do that, I have. So that's good. And I've already gone ahead and cut out um, a die from the Stitch So Sweetly dies, which is here. So they're the Stitch So Sweetly dies. So I've just cut that one out already. Finished with my machine now, so I can pop that away. There are embossing folders in the annual catalog and in the mini catalog that um, fit through the mini machine. Um, they're skinny. I'll just grab one and show you. <clears throat> so they're like the stripes and splatters, the ones I've been playing with. So they're skinnier. So they do fit through the mini machine so you can still do embossing through the mini machine you just have to make sure you buy the smaller ones <clears throat> okay <clears throat> so we'll bring our cards back and this is my new January host code too if you're placing an order um, that's my new host code for January something happened to my other host code and I rang stamping up and they were able to put all the orders onto a new code and fix it up for me so that was really good they're very good like that so I'm just going to line this up so I can get so I'll cut it off there and I'll cut it off there it's <clears throat> just so that the the points sort of line up School went back today, I think. It's funny when you don't have school kids anymore, you don't really know. <laughs> I think some some years went back today and the rest will probably go back on Monday. So good luck to anybody who's got school kids with um with all the things you've got to do now with the rapid antigen tests and everything. Oh my goodness me. The world we live in unbelievable okay so what i'm gonna do whoops let's get my now this color there's my paper gone here it is this color is coastal cabana 
Coastal Cabana and that's Pool Party, I believe. So I am going to get my Coastal Cabana ink out and that's bluish. <coughs> I'll just make sure. <coughs> so you can see with this one, I've just used a blending brush and blushing bribe. That was white cardstock and I just used a blending brush and coloured the cardstock, which is what we're going to do here. I'll just make sure. Yep. Oh, I don't want that going like that. So it just gives an interesting look rather than using the Coastal Cabana cardstock. Um, it just makes it a little bit more interesting. Makes you able to use more tools, which is always fun. And you can also do like light and dark shading if you want it a bit lighter in places you can do it lighter <coughs> there we go i think that's sort of probably enough i shall put this over there and and that's going to be like that. And I'm going to put that like that. So I could attach those two things now. And I will use my glue. Hope everyone had a nice Australia day. We went and visited my mum. And then in the afternoon, <laughs> crazy people. We went over to Derrigal. Oh my gosh. It was just insane over there. <laughs> there were so many people. We only went over for a walk. <laughs> we had an ice cream. But yeah, just <laughs> thousands of people. <laughs> but they were all in their own little tents and own little cabanas and, you know, enjoying a lovely country. <laughs> so it's always nice to see people getting out and enjoying life now that's just a little bit need to tad more off when you emboss with the tighter well, that's what I call them the tighter embossing folders it just sort of cinches it in a little bit um, so it's not the, the length that you first thought it was going to be <laughs> If that makes sense. If the embossing folder is more open, it doesn't seem to sort of shorten it. It's almost like gathering it up in sewing terms. So, what do I do with material? I put it away. <laughs> well, no, I'll do it this way because the, the stitching is correct on the other side. So, that's the problem with beautiful DSP. You go to put the glue or the tape on the side and you think, oh, should I use that side? <laughs> anyway. I'm going to put that there. Press that down. Got to just sort of press it a little bit longer when you're putting it on a, a like a corrugated embossing folder because the glue's got to get down into the little divots. Okay. So that's what that looks like so far. I shall get my stamp set, which I've covered up, as I do, and we'll get the dummy. Is she going to fit on that? Yep. And black memento ink. So there's not a lot of colouring in this stamp set. Which is nice if you don't want to do too much colouring. I think I've got that facing the wrong. It's upside down to me at the moment. There we go. And I'm just going to put her face straight down like that. So the black memento is the ink to use if you're going to be using colouring with the stamping blends. Um, You could use stays on as well if you're watercolouring. But the stamping blends, it lend, um, you, the black memento is the ink to use. Put this back in here. Okay. 
and then some new blends coming out in February for customers. Um, skin color, skin tone. Let me find the, the flyer. I've got it printed out. So yes, these skin tone colors all together collection. So there's a stamp set, dies. Um, six by six black and white designer series paper. That's always handy to have the black and white paper and the natural tone stamping blends. So they're coming out on the 1st of February. Um, the blends alone are, there's a set of five times two, so 10 markers is 78.75. So I'm not sure if I'll get all of them. I might, <laughs> I might get some anyway. Um, so they, that's coming out on the 1st of February for customers until the 2nd of May. So I'll advertise that more when it gets close. Oh, well, February is close, isn't it? It's next week. Silly me. <coughs> <coughs> it's not COVID. <laughs> it's not COVID. Okay, so I can't find my other cards in this. Oh, there they are. I just want to see how I coloured her. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do the dog first, as we will. I'm using light crumb, crumb cake on puppy. Make sure that tips a little bit monged. So I shall go to the, um, the bullet tip. So... So I hope everyone's enjoying the mini catalogue and celebration. <clears throat> now that we're able to get everything, it's just wonderful. My doggy often sits like this with me. Beautiful girl. I'll colour the rest of the face. I'd love to know what your favourite celebration item is. <clears throat> That'd be really lovely to know. Now, Coastal Cabana. I'm looking, I'm looking. I don't think there is a blend for Coastal Cabana. This is a light Bermuda Bay. So let's do her trousers in Bermuda Bay. I don't think there is a blend for Coastal Cabana. I've got my radio on. Goodness, I hope I don't get banned from YouTube when I load it onto YouTube. <laughs> oh dear. That was weird. <clears throat> okay, and the pillows behind. What colour shall we do the pillows? Hmm. It's always a tough decision, these things, isn't it? I'm going to do the blanket around her shoulders, which I think is here too, in light poppy parade, just to give a pop of colour. So, you know, I'm not really doing any blending, I'm just colouring with them. You can do blending if you want. But there's really not sort of, I don't think anyway, where it sort of lends it to the blending. But that's, maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> Look, she's even got a cup of coffee too, or a cup of hot chocolate or something. Must be cold where she is because she's in a little blanket. <laughs> everyone going to do today I'm going to use I'm going I've got to go and have a blood test after this um, and then I'm meeting a friend for lunch so that'll be nice so 
So I've got my classes all up and running again. I'm going to be doing um, one class a month will be four cards. Um, and the other class is going to be a technique class on the Saturdays. And I'm going to, I was going to be doing um, the U3A course at Narara. <clears throat> but I've opted not to do it <laughs> because of the COVID situation and I've got a few health issues that I've got to attend to so I've opted not to go ahead with um, the U3A classes. I've got some doctor's appointments and specialists and tests I've got to have done and I just thought you know it's a bit too much <laughs> and um, <clears throat> the um, COVID situation I just thought it'll be too hard to try and keep everything sanitized and clean for everybody I was a bit anxious about that so I will be running instead of doing the um, U3A classes every second Wednesday I will be running a uh, simple stamping class on a Wednesday, one Wednesday a month to just to focus on the card kits and um, yeah so that's what we'll be doing I'll be doing one Wednesday a month I'll be doing a simple simple stamping class and we'll be using a card kit that stamping up has to offer and then if people want to buy the kit well then they can buy the kit to do like a complete kit in a box um i figured that would be a good idea and i can also keep more control on what people are doing and what they're touching and everything <laughs> so i had to pull out of that which was a bit disappointing i was a bit disappointed about that but anyway i just had to make the right decision for me and for elderly mothers that we have so that was the decision I made any comments no comments I don't think there are any comments let me have a look nope. so if you comment and I don't see it I'll go back and answer any question or comment here we go what color will I do the book oh she's got socks on too I better do her socks <laughs> okay I'm gonna do the book in this soft suede color once again that I'll use the bullet tip because that other tip was a bit dodgy you can color and blend with the bullet tips um, you don't have to use the the brush end. That's what I call it. <laughs> there we go. So, and her socks. What colour socks would she have on? Um, 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 um. Is that going to look nice on this? Let me look. Yes, it's coming together. Let me see what colour socks will she have. Oh, oh. oh it's too hard. <laughs> Yellow socks. So I hope you've all got something nice planned to do today. Whether it be staying at home and crafting or going out for a walk Ooh. okay I'm just gonna even this up a bit and go in here too it's not the end I like oops oh dear that end of my blender's gone a bit strange can't Open it up. There we go. That'll do. That will do. That's a very quick colour. <laughs> <clears throat> so, 
get rid of that. And we'll bring this down. And I'm going to get some twine. So this is just from the Baker's Twine Kit. I think it's, well maybe this is the linen thread. I think this could be the linen thread. They come the same, the same on the little stool. And now I don't know <laughs> which one's which when I, un I take them apart. So I'm just going to wrap that round three times. Just like that. And then a little bit of tape to secure it down. <clears throat> and some dimensionals. So don't forget I have a promotion going that if you spend place a $50 order with me during the month of February, January and February, um, you can go in the drawer for the mini cut emboss machine. So it's like a great little machine. I think I'll put it over here and down a bit. And then I'm going to do a double bow. So I've just got to see how much I need. Maybe that much. And get two pieces of that. It's probably too much, but better have too much than too little. And then just make a bow. Like normal, like a normal bow, but you're just using two pieces of thread. And I can't seem to get them. There we go. Oh, who watched the tennis last night? How exciting was that? Ash Barty's through to the final. Woohoo! I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, so it is a bit long, so I will just snip that. Then I'm going to get <coughs> um, a blue dot. I might put my light on so I can see a bit better. So yeah, tennis has been great. Been loving it. And I'm just going to put that here. I might put another one underneath it just to secure it. Oh, I don't think I need to. Okay, cool. <coughs> and I'm just tidying up the ends. Make them a little bit more even. Just gets a, the double bow just gives it a little bit more um, interest. Okay, so that's that. Put that there, and now I... now what I did with this was I got this stamp, no, this stamp, and I got one of my Stamp and Write markers and just coloured the "Be Good to Yourself" and put it on. Um, but this time, what I might do is get. this stamp out, <clears throat> put it on straight, that will help, <sighs> and I might do the same thing, but I might just do the relax, so let me just get my stamp and right, oh I can't get it, that's a bit big, but that's, <laughs> I do have a Coastal Cabana marker. Yes. <clears throat> so what you do is you just colour, colour the word you want with your marker. Like so. And huff on it. Oh, sorry, my head came in. Sorry, sorry, sorry. 
and you have the word. How cool is that? And now with the double oval punch, I'm going to cut the white part with the word. And then I shall get a piece of crystal cabana. If I can find it. <coughs> Here it is. Just a scrap. These were obviously going to be tags and then I changed my mind. <laughs> so just a scrap of crystal cabana to cut out the scallop oval. And that looks quite good. Put that behind there. And there we go. Just layer it on top. And I'm just going to put some snail on the back. And put it over here, I think, again, like this one. And then. I found in the holiday rhinestones <clears throat> they have coastal cabana. <clears throat> in the holiday rhinestones. How cool is that? So I'm gonna put a large one there. Maybe one up here. <coughs> and then that's pretty much done. I might do a bit of Winker Stella. Um, as well on this one. So I'll just make sure it's flowing. Yep. <laughs> So this just puts a little fine splatter of shimmer on your card. You can't see it on the video, which is a bit sad because it looks so good. I'll see if I can. I don't know. And it's still a bit wet, so it's got to dry. So. But that Winker Stella splatter looks really good in real life. So that's that's it for today that's my card and a cover so I use the in the moment stamp set I combined these two layouts together using the edge dies the hive embossing folder um, the simply marvelous celebration paper the double oval punch and the in the moment stamp set so I hope you enjoyed that um, if you have any questions or you want to inquire about any products or classes, um, my classes are on my blog, um, but you can certainly send me a message and I can answer any questions you might have. And um, I will see you again on Monday for my Makeup Monday. Thanks for watching. Bye.